What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. So as you guys are probably noticing, we've actually got a really sweet ass fancy new intro here. And what actually happened was I commissioned about three total art pieces. So there's three intros. So this is just one that you get to see. And I'm really excited because I've actually been working on these intros since about January because some of the art pieces are just so complex and they took a really long time to find the right artist to make and all sorts of stuff. So I'm really excited to finally start using these intro pieces. I think they're super high quality. They turned out really awesome. And you know, here's one of the three and you'll get to see the two more in future videos. Now today we've got something that I believe is very interesting. And I'm recording this video at 5 a.m. because I am already working on a bunch of stuff for the rework videos and I just had so much that I kind of forgot to make a video for today. So we're recording this at 5 a.m. and my voice is gonna be a little bit, uh, I don't ne wanna necessarily say sound tired, but I'm a little, little bit out of it, I guess, because it is 5 a.m. So today we've got something that I believe is very interesting. Now this was shown to me by a viewer whose name was Dwarven Giant. He DM'd me on Twitter and linked me this and I just thought it was awesome and that I had to share. And I meant to share this a long time ago actually because he, he sent me it about a month ago, I think, or a month and a half. And it was a really interesting piece of information because I'd never actually seen it before because this is the original design of the Champion Select for League of Legends. So this is a design that was created by a man named Clark. And I'll link his portfolio as well as just some other stuff and even just this whole thing that I'm using to access this in the first place if you want to check it out for yourself in the description. Definitely give some love to Clark. He was the original animator who worked on this. He originally worked for Riot Games a long, long time ago, you know, back in 2008, 2007 even, before the game was ever released. And he created this design for the original Champion Select that was never released to the public. It was never playable. It was probably the alpha version of the Champion Select or perhaps even earlier, you know, it, this is just, it goes way back. So if you take a look at the top here, we've got the five players, six players actually, because you could have had like a spectator kind of guy or just actually the original design of League. Now that I remember the original design of League was potentially going to be 6v6. So that's why there's six players. And there's some champions here. You can see the champions on the left. You've got Alistar. And if you click on the champion, there's a little animation and it, there isn't too much to it. It just shows the title. So a lot of the titles and the names are actually different. And if you can see here, you've got like the beta icons that are a lot different. I've got some champions, but something that is especially interesting is that there's also a lot of cancel champions or champions that are just different in general. So here we've got our first cancel champion, which is Gavid the Plant King. So he was a cancel champion who was originally intended to be a part of the game, but he made it into this version of the original champion select, which is pretty cool. We've got Dr. Mundo, the soldier of darkness. Here we've got like at the bottom, you can see there's like probably a chat log here and some other information here. You got a like a ready, so like your lock-in button, you see your abilities, your stats. It's not too fleshed out obviously because it is just like an animation prototype. But up here at the top left, we've also got three types of characters. So there's strong, deadly, and arcane. Now we just took, took a look through the strong characters. So now we've got the deadly ones. We've got Sivir, the Battle Maiden. It's interesting to see that the titles of the characters have really changed a lot so far. You know, Tristana, the Megling Gunner, like what? You know, like that, that's so different to what Tristana is today, actually. And even these icons are something just a, just like a true work of art on their own. You know, Twitch the Plague Rat, Lee Sin the Blind Monk. I mean, just look at this icon, it's crazy. Master Yi the Krizu Master, like what the hell kind of title is that? Just, some of them stayed the same though. You got the Jax Grandmaster at Arms, Shaco. Here's another cancel champion. We got Rob Blackblade. So he was a cancel champion who never made it into the game because his art style was so different. And I mean, even just taking a look at the icon, you can see how his art style was so different. And yeah, we've got some Kastin. This one's actually Ash, so Clonil apparently was the original name for Ash. I don't even know how you would say that. Maybe it's Chloe Nil. I, I, I give up, but that's kind of interesting to see that that was actually the original name for Ash. And again, this is actually pretty much an official Riot source of information because this guy published this piece of work as part of his time at Riot, you know, as his portfolio, it's quite literally his portfolio that he uses to apply for jobs and all that stuff. And this is something that came from Riot essentially. So this was once a part in the game. And I mean, just looking at how the things turned out, like it's really not that hard to see why. It's, 
it is it does actually look like pretty realistically like a version of what could have been the champion select you know there's priscilla the spider queen another canceled champion there and here we've got the arcane characters so this is like the mages so we've got annie soraka we've got narib new mace the chrono keeper so zillion of course it's that's such a weird name for a champion. Could you could you imagine that being an actual name for a champion in League of Legends? Like, what is that even, you know? Rise, Fiddlesticks, Morgana, Anivia, and then we've got Karthus, and two more canceled champions. So, Avergerian, the Astral Guardian, we made a video about him a, a while back. That was pretty interesting. That was actually where I found out his title from. That's how I knew he was the Astral Guardian, was actually from this piece of animation. And we've got Tabu the Voodoo Shaman. So this is the original design for the League of Legends Champion Select. And I personally thought this was an extremely interesting piece of work. And I'll once again, I'll link everything in the description if you guys wanted to check it out. It's just a really cool piece of just like nostalgia and even development as well of just like, you know, this is something that Riot, this is information that you don't really get from Riot. You know, you really have to like find places from outside. And again, big thanks to Dwarven Giant for actually linking this to me because I thought it was honestly just so damn cool. And I'm really glad that I got to see it. And I wasn't really entirely sure what type of video to make with this, which is, I guess, why it took me so long to actually show it off. But I, I decided, you know what, let's just go all out and just show off the whole thing in all its glory and all this stuff so there's all these like menu buttons this is like how you would scroll through the characters and obviously the animations aren't entirely complete but this is like pretty much the entire menu setup so that's that's really all there is to it there's not much else after that in terms of just this original prototype that we got access to so yeah definitely check out the original creator link in the description and yeah i hope you guys enjoy taking a look back at the original champion select definitely leave a like if you didn't wait a minute Definitely leave a like if you enjoyed the video and a dislike if you didn't. That's how it goes. It's 5 a.m. Give me a break, ladies and gentlemen. Please, thank you very much. Hope you guys enjoyed the new intro, actually, because that's something that I've been very excited for for a very long time. So leave a like for the new intros. Thanks for watching if you made it this far, and I'll see you guys next time.